Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to teach word-solving problems to third graders. The important thing for third graders to know are the key words. So you should have them familiarize themselves with words like some, which is addition. Right when they see some, they should associate it in their heads with addition. So you can say, you know, Jenny has six cookies and Susan has seven cookies. What is the sum of Jenny and Susie's cookies? Well, it's going to be six plus seven because they hear the word sum. They know it's going to be an addition sign. Six plus seven is 13. 13 cookies. And it's also important with word problems that they have labels. So they don't just write 13, but they write 13 cookies. The units in which the problem is taking place. You can also have them wor learn words like less than, which they have to associate with subtraction. Or words like more than, which is also addition. More than. Or words like product. When they see the word product, they know it means multiplication. What is the product of Jenny and Susie's cookies? Six times seven. Right? That's going to be 42 cookies. And again, they must write the label. It's good to familiarize themselves with all these words so that when they see a keyword like product and they're probably learning multiplication times tables in the third grade anyway, they will know that there's going to be a multiplication times symbol in that equation when they write it out mathematically. I'm Rachel and thanks for learning with us today.